Flanders Hotel was built in 1923 by a group of local prominent businessmen who really wanted to compete with Atlantic City. Atlantic City had the grand hotels. There was nowhere south of that, and they really wanted to bring Ocean City into the limelight. All of the wealthy people from Philadelphia and New York, this is where they came. So it was really a fabulous place to stay. The second floor was the main dining room and also the main uh, lobby area. It was called the Grand Lobby, and that was where all of the patrons of the hotel stayed. That was, it was all very formal, very elegant. What is now the ballrooms that we use for the weddings, that was where they had the main dining room, and they served breakfast, lunch, and dinner there, and they were packed all the time. They had tea in there, and they, it was a, quite a grand affair. People see the hotel from the outside, they know it's been here a long time, and they don't realize how beautiful the accommodations are and how much we offer everything that is modern in a beautiful old luxury setting. In fact, in the past year, we have just redone all of the rooms in the hotel once again. So we have all brand new furnishings, beautiful rooms, there's lovely suites, it's an all suites hotel. We have penthouses that are beyond um, anything that's available anywhere in Ocean City or anywhere near here. She really is the last grand dame in Ocean City. We actually have catacombs, which is an underground basement system that is between it's underneath us and, and going towards the ocean. During Prohibition, um, they had down there bars. They, were, they called them speakeasies. Nobody could find them. They were down there and they would have their cocktails before their dinners. They're an underground basement system and it's a fascinating thing. The Flanders is definitely a place that is haunted. Emily is, is the name that we have given to the spirit who really is seen frequently. I have numerous times felt her presence. It's a very friendly, comforting feeling and she's fascinated with the brides and the story is that she worked here in the early days of the Flanders and that she was engaged and she lost her engagement ring. So she's here supposedly looking for her ring. At the edge of the sea in Ocean City, New Jersey, sits the Flanders Hotel, a restored landmark that hosts scores of visitors and one permanent resident. Emily was first seen around the hotel uh, back when it was first built. This young woman has a very tragic story. She actually fell in love with um, one of the uh, more um, aristocratic men that was staying at the hotel and uh, he apparently fell in love with her and promised to marry her but then um, ended up not marrying her. And uh, she was so upset by this that um, one night she took her own life. And um, after that, people began seeing uh, the ghost of this woman uh, drifting up and down the boardwalk. And um, you would not recognize her as the Emily you see today. She appeared simply as a piece of mist that drifted down the boardwalk. And uh, followers would watch her and um, try to follow her down the boardwalk and uh, notice that this thing of mist uh, was not moving uh, the way normal mist would. It would um, walk around doors, it would um, disappear into shops and then re-emerge. Almost just like a, a person flitting through. Another version of, of Emily that uh, they began seeing, um, probably around the 1950s I would say, is uh, Emily as a mother that she's actually seeking a lost child. 
This child was a five-year-old that they believed died from hypothermia, and they believe that she died around the same time that Emily's ghost began appearing here. And they think that uh, perhaps Emily is actually the mother of this child. There's a lot of stories of uh, young children who um, see Emily. Uh, Emily often uh, wanders through the hallways of the Flanders singing or humming. Um, she plays a piano that's on the second story, um, where there is also a mural of her. That um, A lot of young children will come upon this mural. Uh, they'll look up at this woman and they'll recognize her as someone who's talked to them before. The most modern version of Emily, uh, the one that you see most often around the Flanders, is that she is a bride who's looking for a wedding ring. And um, that's why when you see her nowadays, she's usually wearing a long white gown and uh, has long hair down to her waist and is always looking for something, usually considered a wedding ring. One of the maintenance workers at the Flanders Hotel saw Emily in the catacombs. He realized she was dead when she met his eyes. He said that the look of sorrow was so great that no human being could have survived it. The moment she met his eyes, she stood, and the moment she stood, she vanished, leaving him once again alone in the darkness of the Flanders Hotel. Emily, for all her tragic history, is, uh, is known as a very happy ghost. Emily is very drawn to brides. There are stories that um, happen something like this. You are a young bride here. Uh, you've just had your first night of your honeymoon, and uh, you've gone into um, your dressing room, and you're primping in front of the mirror, when suddenly the face in the mirror is not your own. It's the face of a younger woman, perhaps, with long reddish-brown hair. She looks very different from you, but she's where your face should be. People often see Emily uh, haunting the second story of the hotel, uh, particularly near two murals that are located there. Uh, one of them, which is a picture of Emily. and the other which is uh, commemorative of the poem Flanders Fields. Emily is often seen reading the words of this poem, um, looking over it, just poring over them. Many people believe that's because she was a young woman who was murdered or had um, some great wrong done to her, and uh, that she is looking at this poem so that she will find someone who will take up her lost cause and uh, follow that to the end. Get somebody out here. Is he in your yard, sir? Paranormal TV wants your story. If you or anyone you know has had a paranormal experience, make contact at paranormaltv.tv. Your encounter could appear on Paranormal TV. Become a part of the phenomenon.